A new year has begun and new life is already stirring. Welcome to Peppers and Glowworms, a channel dedicated to hot chili peppers and coldly glowing glowworms. <coughs> Some good news from the peppers and glowworms. Let's start with the peppers. My good luck chili pepper actually sprouted on January 1st. The container was soon put closer to a window and opened up. Let's have a closer look at this multiple hybrid. It is a hybrid between Siberian house pepper, DE Cayenne, hot paper lantern, Budjolokia, Carioca, Numex Twilight, Trinidad Scorpion Moruga Red and the Carolina Reaper. Let's remove those empty seeds. There we go. And you can see there are still more plants germinating. Let's take away the seed as well. Pepper-wise there's not much else to say, except that my latest cross between Ahi Charapita and Carolina Reaper Chocolate, the Ahi Charipa, is doing remarkably well under the cold German winter sun. Six days into the new year I found the first larva of the F22 generation of my Sardinian glowworms. And apparently some of them already hatched earlier. Let's have a closer look. Yep, there are more of them hatching. You can see some of them are not really pigmented yet. This one here, and there are more of them between the eggs. Sadly, um, there seem to be some mites left in the substrate and they cling to the head of the larvae. So um, I guess I will have to remove those larvae right after hatching. Those are the ones I have collected so far. And I have prepared a new enclosure for them. Greetings, little ones. I am your familiar. I will provide for you and be your conduit to the outside world. And those are the relics of your great 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 grandfather. So far I have collected 12 larvae. And I will continue to transfer them from the egg box into the new enclosure. Concerning the older larvae of the generation 21, well, there are quite a few of them left and many of them start pupating. I will pick them out of the enclosure so that they can pupate elsewhere. Since I'm pretty sure that they will turn into male pupae, I put them to the other male pupae. You can see I have quite a few of them again. And also some fresh adult males. Currently I only have one female pupa, but I think um, there's a second wave of glowworm reproduction coming. Now that's a second wave I can approve of. Life. Um. 
Fine, sir. Oui.